the gum. And there you go. It's, it's going to dissolve probably or be chalky. Not a very good thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's the oldest thing that's ever probably been in your mouth. Yeah, how? You'd be surprised what I do for stage time, man. The. I mean, the mic probably, they're not old though. Let's see. Oh my God, Kojak. Did you watch the show? Kojak? Yeah. What is this? No, I don't, I'm television retarded. I don't okay. know anything about TV so, movies. So, you know, this is, you know, this guy, he's dead. He's dead? He, in the movie or in real life? In real life, you know, he did that, he was one of those asphyxiation dudes. Autoerotic asphyxiation? Yes, that's how he died. He but, choked himself while jerking? Yeah, they wow. found him in his hotel room. Well, I truly don't know what I just experienced. Comedians opening cards, no coffee. It's Comedians opening cards, no coffee, and we're still at the stand, and I think it's Wednesday night. Everyone's here for Kill Tony. Well, it's not really Kill Tony, but it's Tony, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But who do I have? Hi, I'm Roey. Roey? Roey, yeah, Roey Rosen. R-O-E-Y, like Joey. R-O-E-Y, Rosen, R-O-S-E-Z. R-O-Z-E-N. That's me. That will help me out later. Yeah. Awesome, and how long have you been doing stand-up? A uh, few years now, like four. All in New York? Yeah. Crazy old, scene. Old time. New York is fucking insane, dude. I mean, it's borderline schizophrenic. And what would you say average mics you could do on a freaking week in average, the city? How many? Yeah. What would you say? Or is it not just about numbers? I mean, you couldn't hit like three to five a day if you want to fucking drive yourself to insanity and but kill But that's yourself. too much. Bro, yeah. the people at these mics are crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sometimes yeah, yeah. I fear for my life. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do mics yeah. up in New Hampshire and Maine. In New Hampshire and, and Maine? And, 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 and Massachusetts. Are and people Vermont. funny out there? Fuck yeah, there's funny people oh. everywhere. And the, and the mics are growing. There's more and more mics opening up in cool old mill buildings and stuff. It's amazing. Wow. Theaters. Wow. In Salem, Mass, you can do a thing underground in like a old like church. In Salem? In Salem, Mass, Yo, yeah. I'm it's called, to, it's called like the haunted something. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. I'd, I'd love to stand up for some witches in Salem. Man. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. That's my type. Witches. Yeah. Why not? I mean. Yo, I like, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, I got all these cards. Um, what you're going to do, you're going to flip through. You find uh, something that interests you. You open them. You talk about it for as long or as short as you want. You sign one for me, and you keep the other cards if you so desire. Wait, wow. So, there's a whole bunch Wait, of stuff. Wait, these are just cards? Wait, this chair is diagonal. Oh, because you're off the edge. I'm falling off the edge. You, you fell off the crack. Wow, okay. Good thing you're off the crack. Robocop. Oh, thank you so much. Mork and Mindy, Home Alone 2, Ooh, Hunger Games. Ooh. Yo, where do you get these? eBay. Really? Yeah. How much do these cost? It depends on which ones. I usually buy them by the box, so I'll get usually 24 or 36. Sometimes I buy them individually. Like, I do not have a whole box of that. What is this? Oh, Saturday, Saturday Night Fever? I have a whole box of this. You got any Elvis? You got any Elvis? Oh shit, they made Elvis cards, but they made them later, so I haven't purchased any Elvis cards. I have Andy Gibb. Kung Fu with bubblegum. That's a re that's one of the more Dune. valuable ones. Uh, David Tell opened Dune. David Tell opened Dune? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wait, how, uh, who else has done this show? What, uh, what is this? Shane Gillis, Mark Norman, wow. Sam Morell, wow. CJ Miller. Hopefully, uh, Tony's gonna do it tonight. Um, Yo! Cypher Sounds was really fun a couple weeks ago. I just got Kurt Metzger the other day. And then I have open micers. I have feature, you know, all kinds of wow. different people. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I'm bombing right now, but I'm really just fascinated by this by this level of autism. There's but no it's bombing. Beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Let's see here. Snotty I don't even signs. like movies. You don't even like movies? So no, what is I don't this, watch what movies. What is this about? It's about us talking. It's about us talking? And Where react, because you find something that's interesting to you, and then we just freaking whatever, and we do whatever. I'm I'm frozen by choice. I'm absolutely paralyzed. Yeah, there's a there. lot. There's like a there's hundred so or so. And I'm, sometimes people eat the gum. Al Lou Bell opened Rocky. That was really fun. Oh, I'm so tempted to do Kung Fu. Okay. No one's ever opened Kung Fu. I have very few. That's one of the most valuable ones. That's a tough, tough pack to get. Kung Fuck Fu. yes. And one of my newest, I well, I make cards of the people who do the show. So my newest one was ripping off Kung Fu, and I changed no that way. to something. But Yo, you know. they got the gum in here too. Should I pop the gum? That's. I mean, I take no responsibility. When is this from? It's probably from the 70s. 
I bet it's like 70 something. I don't know. The earliest gum I think is 78's been eaten a couple times. A dude popped it right in his mouth. A girl ate the gum from 78, which was the first time a girl ate the gum. And there you go. It's, it's gonna dizzle probably or be chalky. Not a very good thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's the oldest thing that's ever probably been in your mouth. Yeah, how? You'd be surprised what I do for stage time, man. The... I mean, the mic, probably, they're not old, though. Let's see. Oh, my God, Kojak. Did you watch the show? Kojak? Yeah. What is this? No, I don't, I'm television retarded. I don't okay. know anything about TV so, movies. So, you know, this is, you know, this guy, he's dead. He's dead? He, in the movie or in real life? In real life, you know, he did that, he was one of those asphyxiation dudes. Autoerotic asphyxiation? Yes, that's how he died. He but, choked himself while jerking? Yeah, they wow. found him in his hotel room. In what the a way thing. to go. Yeah, yeah, but he, this was wow. like a real zen show. Like when they talk, did you see Pulp Fiction? Yes. Okay, you know in Pulp Fiction when it was like, when the uh, black dude was like, oh, I want to wander the earth and walk around and do yeah. whatever? They're talking about him. That's what he did. That was this show. I mean, the this Hulk. guy... And this one, this is what he, this is how he feels when he's jerking off. David Carradine is his name. David Carradine? Yeah. Yeah, what? he wandered from town to town like the Hulk did too later. And he would like save them and do stuff and then he would move on to the next place. He's got like a Joe Biden expression here. Like, oh, where am I? And if I'm not mistaken, I think like it was supposed to be, um, who was the, who was the karate guy who was, ja you know, from Asia who's dead, who was like, he then later was like, like, he maybe was supposed to do the show, but they wouldn't give it to an Asian dude. This is the most disgusting thing. Like, the, the gum. I'm actually... Well, who... I might throw up. Like, I... <laughs> well, I don't have any... I mean, there's dog water, which yeah, probably yeah, isn't going to help. Yeah, well, I, I, I mean, if I have to make Joe clean this shit up, I won't feel bad at all. Yeah. But, yeah. Joe's a good guy. Don't make... He won't, he won't be cleaning it up. Yeah, well, that's his Joe, job. That's what he gets paid to do. He doesn't clean up the stuff, I don't think. Dumbass Joe. Dumbass Joe. Okay, I love Joe. Yeah, he's, he's my great. friend. Come on, man. Yeah, I... So, I want to show the viewers... This what, is the camera. I'll tell you. It, oh, again. yeah. But, but it's really... The problem is... I really have nothing to say about these. Because you it's picked a the white, pack it's that you know nothing hands. about. Yeah, I picked the pack. I, I, well, I know about Kung Fu. Oh, but what do you know really, about Kung Fu? What do I know about Kung Fu? Yo, those guys are fucking nuts, bro. They could fucking, their mind-body connection is crazy, bro. They could just turn off the nerves in their balls. Like, have oh. you seen a monk get kicked in the nuts? It's insane. Well, what was the guy who lit himself on fire during Vietnam protesting the Christians coming in? Was that a monk? Yeah, it was a monk who did the fire thing and then, then rage against the machine, used that as their cover. That guy just sat there with the burning and just sat there and in the lotus position and then he's, his arm raised like this as he charged for like oh, minutes and minutes and minutes. Oh, there's, wait, Kung Fu until recently was never taught outside the Chinese community. Even today, despite widespread interest because of the TV series, many Chinese Kung Fu masters are reluctant to teach their ancient art and see it as exploited by Western culture. But this is a white man. And There's that's a the white... belt he used. A, Look, that's... that's the belt he used to hang himself in the... Are you serious? Well, probably not. Yeah, oh, well, I I really was excited. I'll believe anything you say to me right well, now. That I know part nothing was not... what we're speaking. It's just because they both have belts on, and since he hung himself. Wow, you know. that's so amazing. You know, my grandma hung herself, but the boring way. She was just sad. Well, you know, the crazy thing, like, uh, who's the musician guy? Uh, before he came to America, right before they were going to break, he hung himself with the, with the strap around his thing, where he was just on the ground, and he just leaned over, and that, like, he could have stood up at any time. That's hard to that's, do. Yeah, that's an immense willpower. Right, so like like in the jail things, it's not like there's a chandelier hanging from the thing. Like for the jail dudes too, to hang yourself in jail, you do it in a way where you can just get the fuck up. Like you have to really want to go. Yo, you know yeah, I mean? like wow. Because there's not shit hanging from the ceiling. Dude, I'm definitely too much of a pussy to kill myself. Yeah, well you should. Oh no, they're coming through cards. Ladies. We brought the ladies in. May, what do you feel about this? How do you feel about this Kung Fu card? I don't know anything about Kung Fu. I don't know. He doesn't either. That. I don't know shit about that. This, what I'm going to say, is from Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, this is just a cowboy. This has nothing to do with Kung Fu. That's his dad. No, it's a horny yeah, cowboy. You can it's, tell. It's, it's, it's comedians gun. opening cards, no Kidding. coffee. Yeah, he's holding a gun. And, and you are? I'm an art attorney. An art attorney. Would you like oh a God, piece of apple gum from 77? No. Oh, we're going to eat. I need like substantive food. Awesome. Well, there's a restaurant right here. No, they're closing. 
Oh, uh, oysters, one dollar. What's happening here? <laughs> I'm speaking to the world about these cards. There's no yes. world watching. You're only speaking to us. No. Why, why, how many well, viewers? What's not live? Oh, I see. There's no world. I'm, hello, world. <laughs> Hi. I come with a message of peace and unity. All right, let's go. All right, yeah. Okay, Hello. so you just have to sign one for me since you know nothing about the show. Bro, I, I mean, well, honestly, honestly, I think these cards suck. That I expect it to be like a bunch of fucking Asian guys like, ah! and it just fucking, there's a cowboy, there's a bald white man looking scornfully here, and then there's this confused white man. He, there's it's that, the same guy. He knew he was going to die there by isn't, hanging. There's not one Asian person in this entire Kung Fu death. That's what I was saying. They were supposed to get, they, but they, the, the freaking Asian yeah, dude who died, who was like the Kung Fu guy, he did the autoerotic asphyxiation. Yeah. David Carradine. Do you just didn't do it right, or...? No, no, uh, I mean, I don't know. Do you think he wanted to die? Because, because... Well, the, I imagine you want to, like, get, like, as far as you can. As far as you can? Yeah, well, I can't. I can't do that, man. What's his name? Uh, Harris Whittles. Harris Whittles. Now, he did not die by autoerotic asphyxiation, but... Who's that? Harris Whittles, he's the guy who came up with Humble Brag. He was a writer on um, Parks and Rec. Anyway, he died from a heroin overdose. But on a podcast, when he's talking to a uh, uh, tall uh, fucking comedian guy, or like a few months before, he's talking about like why, like we don't have, why, why do people assume you have to live like as long as possible? You don't have to. Like he's almost saying like I'm gonna eventually just take too much heroin, and then only months later did he do that. Yo, but okay, so the back of this card is talking about how people, white people exploit Kung Fu. This and then the, there it is. This is the fucking bullshit that it's talking about. Yeah. Kung Fu is a magical and powerful art. And this is a fucking bunch of bullshit so, and the gum suck dick too. So what you're saying is you have to look behind things to find the real truth. You do have to look behind things to find the real truth. Yo, what kind of philosopher are you? What kind of I, philosopher? I God have a degree in philosophy. Do you have a degree in philosophy? I do. From where? Penn State. From Penn State? Yeah. Uh, well, okay. I was there then. Oh yeah, favorite philosopher. Go. Top three. Go. Uh, I mean, Socrates has got to be number one. Okay. I hate fucking Aristotle. Wow. Um, Aristotle's a freaking ass. Plato and his fucking forms, you know, whatever. He's just a student of uh, freaking Socrates. So just like Jesus, you don't know the real truth of what I Socrates studied, did. I studied philosophy for a while. Sure. Yeah, I and find... who do you like? Nietzsche? I hate... Uh, no. <laughs> Ew. Heidegger? Uh-uh. <laughs> Yo, I like fucking... I like new wave. I like Terrence McKenna. I like new age shit, new philosophers. Uh, I fucking love Marshall McLuhan. Yo, Marshall Yo, McLuhan. Marshall McLuhan. Uh, the medium uh, is the, the medium message. The medium is the message, uh, the yeah. verb thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, great Yo, stuff. Yeah, he's Marshall the Marshall McLuhan is goaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he love him. You, Yo, he, he makes you think about how technology forms your reality. Yeah, it's yeah. like your entire life and your entire, then all of the feng shui of your life is just based off where the outlets are in your house. And you never really think about shit like that. Yeah. Well, your entire life is just organized around these little outlets. And, and that has a profound effect on your physical space that you're in. Dude, Marshall McLuhan, yeah. all the fucking way. Oh, 100%. And, yeah, I mean, if you want to learn, like, because, yo, okay, so... The thing is with Marshall McLuhan that's important is that he's teaching you that he was Canadian. The that's medium, the, important. the medium. It's not about what's being said. It's right. about how you consume sure. the thing that's being the said. The phone, yeah, where, this thing. Yeah, yeah and I'm the, well, the reason I think about it all the time is because on TikTok, basically, you're right. the way that oh you. Say Ali. Tell Ali bye. Oh, okay. Ali bye. Uh, that was, that was <laughs> Andrew. A four two. He takes all the photos. Yeah. <coughs> Have a good but day, it's Andrew. really important. It's really important to know because basically what you going to be here tomorrow? Uh, no. I'm gonna try to As a medium, what it All does right. as a medium is that is that it inundates your mind with hundreds of messages. It's like you can't grab on to any piece of information. Like it's like when you have a hundred calories of Skittles versus a hundred calories of carrots. The fiber and shit in the carrot makes it break down slower so your body right. can process the sugars. Right. And then the Skittles is like, ooh, sugar. Sure. Well, that's and that's TikTok. And, and, and it fucking, it, 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 it destroys your ability to have uh, comprehensive and deep thoughts. Because you're just got like you only yeah. have thoughts for two seconds and two like two second thought, two second thought, two right. second thought, two second thought, two second. All right, so it's destroying our minds. 
Right, of course. Could free but, yourself. But, but. Free yourself but, from TikTok. But we used to stare at the fire and it flickered the flame. And we sat around the fire in groups together and told stories. Yeah. Now. Now. It's that connectedness of actually being there. You it's can dead. still it's stare dead. at the flame and still have the flicker, but the, the, the story dead. can't come from I have that. A that year old, I have a 16 year old sister. Everybody's autistic, bro. It's digital yeah. autism. Right. It's autism that's induced by the by by technology because yeah. we don't know how to act in social situations anymore. Right, right, right. but that's you what mean, it's becoming. It's not how to act. We're adapting. No, we're, adapting. Become, we're becoming the guys from Wally. -E. It's over. It's over for everyone. We're becoming fucking useless, soft pussies. It's over. The phones I mean, win. Wait, you like hard pussy? The AI win. Yo, hard ass pussy all the way. Hard ass Asian pussy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these cards suck. I really expected a lot from them because I have a lot of respect for Kung Fu. I have a lot of respect for the, the East. You didn't realize it was a TV yeah, show. Yeah, wait, but philosophers, yo, I hate every French philosopher. They're all pedophiles. It's so fucking Foucault. weird. Foucault's a pedophile. Sar Jean-Paul Sartre. Sartre. No pedophiles. Exit's good. They're all pedophiles. Did you read No Exit? Everything that French philosophers try to do, it's just a, a way for them to deconstruct reality and explain that morals are just a social construct. They're not even real. And, and, and they're like, oh yeah, morals aren't real. Ergo, uh, it's totally fine when I bring around this 12 year old boy to fuck. Like, and that's, they're just doing mental gymnastics so you can think that pedophilia is normal. It's that those, uh, those French people, they're fucked. But we're stealing their cafe society by hanging out here outside of this place. Their cafe society, dude. Honestly, I would genocide the French. I would, I would camp them. Mm. I'd fucking, and I'm Jewish, so I mean that. You know, when I say that, I, you know, it comes with a weight to it. Yeah. I would camp the French. I think that their pedophile problem is weird, and the only people that have it worse, I think, are the Japanese. They just raised their age of consent from 16 like last year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's I, mean, I mean, hey, Sherrod Small. Um, but yeah, no, these cops are bullshit. <laughs> Dude, man, how you been, buddy? Freaking A. Yeah, you want some gum from the set? No, uh, do, do not eat it, You want to put in your pants? I do. <laughs> Sherrod opened E.T. That was a blast. He opened E.T.? Yo, I yeah, should have picked a better yeah, yeah. fucking deck of cards. All right. Uh, just sign one. And, uh, I'll sign, yeah, I would gotta... love to sign one. I would be so happy to sign one. I think, okay, I need to choose which one I resonate with. Uh, I really... Was your last name Resin? Rosen. Oh, Rosen. Rosen. Resonate. Yeah. Close. Resonate. I don't know. Yo, you I mean, know, you did great. Um, I think I'm going to sign this one. Oh, awesome. And, and uh, I'm going to put a little... Sherrod will know all about Kung Fu. David Carradine. Oh, the music's gonna kill me though. It's all loud now. Oh well. I drew a noose around his neck because he. Oh, hurt beautiful! And, and and it looks like he's coming. So this. Oh, is look like at that card! Like is died. great. I think I think it's really special. That's a good I one. I put a little personal touch on it. I love it. You know. I love it. Um, awesome. Yo. Yo, free your mind. Three people that are watching this at home, fucking free yourself, bro. All this shit is bullshit. They're lying to you. I don't know who they are, but I don't everyone, everyone's lying to That's you. Very true. Other than me, I'm the only person that tells the fucking goddamn truth in this goddamn city. Roby Rosen on Instagram. Sorry. You can keep the other if you so desire. Wait, oh wow. Yeah, all right. Wait, will you sign one and, and give it to me? Yeah, if you want. Yo. You're the second person to ask me to sign. Really? Yep. Yeah, because I wanna uh, I want I want oh fuck. Mm. I don't know which one to choose. They're all they're all really honestly kind of bad. Maybe well, this one. He looks him. like he's yeah. at the Kumite. He looks like he's at the Kumite. So you want my art? I can sign my art name. Yo, I would like. Yeah, what's your art name? What inspired you to do this? What's the deal with this? Oh, I should have signed the bag. Yo, let me write a message on the bag. Yo, wait. What is the? What 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 the fuck? What kind of scripture? What kind of symbols? What kind of, this looks like it's fucking Aztec, yo. What, what are these hieroglyphs? <laughs> these are fucking not even real. It's B-U-N-Q and there's 24 and you can spin it so you know the year's 24 and the B-U-N-Q spin either way. B-U-N-Q? B-U-N-Q. What is that, it's a bunk? Oh, it's a bunk, yeah. Which means bullshit. 
Yeah. Which and is what we've been talking about. Bullshit? Well, yeah, you said it's all. I'm the only person in fucking New York City I don't talk about bullshit. <laughs> I talk about real shit all the time. <laughs> Are you signing a second one or what? Oh, because you're signing the backs. Awesome. Free your mind, bitch. Awesome. Fuck Ian Fidens. Wow. Ian's done the show. Ian, suck my dick, you fucking gay bitch. Wow. Fuck you, Ian Fidens. You little rat fuck. Wow, I wish I was wearing his shirt right yeah. now, but I'm not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Oh, no, it's okay. Oh, well. Hey, go see live comedy, because that's where it's happening. Yeah, that's all. Comedians open cards! Awesome. Okay, Thank thanks, you so Dave. Much. You don't want a picture? Okay. Well, it's all.